Hi, Mary Kay. You can see the rain is here in full force, and in just hours, we could see much more. It's the weather the city is in full preparation mode for, and they are urging you at home to be too. This is what the lakefront looked like the last time the city saw the wind and waves expected this weekend in 2014, forcing lane closures on Lakeshore Drive. And while we're not there quite yet, the warnings are in place for what's about to hit here. Tomorrow, if anybody's out here, then they're foolish. They're stupid, yeah. probably. The city closing lakefront paths, putting red flags up along its 18 miles. But their warnings, not everyone's heating yet. There's water coming up around the curve. Like Charles Donahue and Courtney Ellers, who walked right past the keep out signs. There were two policemen on bikes, and they just waved at us. Did you see the closures? Yes. Why'd you ignore them? Because we know the lakefront fairly well. The experts who closed the trail disagree. The Office of Emergency Management telling us conditions that look passable can still be dangerous, and not just here. People are bracing the not so calm before the storm now, in skates and on sidewalks. But they say the wind, rain, sleet, snow, and lakeshore flooding may cause tricky, slippery conditions across the city. Now, city officials want to warn drivers to prepare for some extra travel time on the road, possible iciness here this weekend, and of course, yield for the hundreds of salt trucks that are expected to be on our roads this weekend. Reporting live on a very, very rainy Michigan Avenue tonight, I'm Tara Molina, CBS2 News. Erica? All right. Thank you, Tara, for that.